Good morning and happy day 11 of 21 days of prayer. I've been encouraging y'all in your small groups or in worship to get serious about intercessory prayer. And can I be real with you? I didn't even think about that being churchy language until someone asked me, what is intercessory prayer? Uh, Simply put, intercessory prayer is when you pray on behalf of or you pray for someone. When I think about intercessory prayers, honestly, my heart gets uh, thankful super fast because all my life I know I have people praying on my, my behalf. My parents in my early years, Danielle for the last 12 years of my life, and really some genuinely faithful people at all the congregation I've served have interceded on my behalf. But you might find it interesting who else shows up on the list of those who intercede for you. Take Jesus, for example. Paul tells us in Romans 8, verse 34, that Christ Jesus who died, more than that, who was raised to life, is at the right hand of God, also interceding for us. And it's not just Jesus. It's the third person of the Trinity, the Holy Spirit. Just a few verses before this, uh, Paul tells us that in the same way, the Spirit helps us in our weakness. We often do not know what we ought to pray for. But the Spirit himself intercedes for us with groans too deep for words. Uh, that's found in Romans eight twenty six and 27. And Paul referenced how he interceded for his fellow believers in many of his epistles or letters. Uh, take example, for example, Romans 1, verse 9. He says, God, whom I serve with my whole heart in preaching this gospel of his son, is my witness how constantly I rem- remember you in m- my prayers at all times. Uh, Many churches have begun this ministry of intercession called GAP. These are people who know that God answers prayers. This GAP ministry flows from a heart that knows uh, there are times when you just can't handle everything on your own. You need someone to stand in the GAP, to stand where you can't. Ezekiel chapter 22 verse 30 says, I looked for a man among them who would build up the wall and stand before me in the GAP on behalf of of the land, so I would not destroy it, but I found none. How sad that no one was found at that time and place. But how thankful I am that so many of God's people are willing to step up and stand in the gap for me. The question is, who are you going to stand in the gap for today? I want to challenge you to make a list of 10 people that you commit to interceding for. Pray for them today, each of them by name, and then maybe reach out to them and say, and just check in on them and, and in your own prayer journal or whatever that looks like, begin to make notes of how you can intercede on them. And then I encourage you to spend about 30 seconds to a minute today praying for the students and youth in your own life and here at the church. I hope you have a blessed day and we'll talk to you soon.